The Anti-Fascist Assembly for the National Liberation of Macedonia Macedonian, Antifascistico Sobrani za Narodno Osloboduvain na Macedonia Antifascistico Sobrani za Narodno Osloboduvanje na Macedonia, Serbo-Croatian, Antifascistico Sobranja Narodnog Oslobodanja Macedoni, ABBR. ASNOM was the supreme legislative and executive people's representative body of the Macedonian state from 1944 until the end of World War II. The body was set up by the Communist partisans during the final stages of the National Liberation War of Macedonia in the summer of 1944, in the Bulgarian occupation zone of Yugoslavia. Significance First session The first plenary session of ASNOM was convened underground on the symbolic date of August 2 Day, 1944 in the St. Prohor Pisinski Monastery in modern Serbia. The monastery and surrounding area, which are part of the region of Macedonia, were transferred from senior Macedonia to senior Serbia in 1947. The most important assembly decisions are the proclaiming of a Macedonian nation state of ethnic Macedonians, proclamation of the Macedonian language as the official language of the Macedonian state. The citizens of Macedonia, regardless of their ethnic affiliation, were guaranteed all civil rights, as well as the right to their mother tongue and confession of faith. The first session was opened with the anthem of the Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization IMRO, Rise Up, Dayspring of Freedom which became also the anthem of the newly proclaimed republic. However, in the next year it was banned by the authorities as Bulgarophile sentiment. ASNOM, as the supreme institution of government, also meant de jure commencement of the constitutional law existence of Macedonia as a constituent country within the framework of the future Communist Yugoslav Federation. The Assembly issued a manifesto which described the situation in the Vardar Bonavina under the old Yugoslavia as that of the colony. The manifesto issued by ASNOM's first session also explicitly stated its hope for the unification of the whole Macedonian people, i.e., in the whole of the geographical region of Macedonia. The presiding committee of ASNOM was dominated by elements that were not known for their pro Yugoslav sentiments. Panko Brashnarov, a former member of IMRO, chaired as the oldest member the inaugural meeting, and Matodia Andonov Chento was elected president. Both wanted a greater independence for the future republic. They saw joining Yugoslavia as a form of second Serbian dominance over Macedonia, and preferred membership in a Balkan federation or else complete independence. Cento and partly Brashnarov clashed with Svetozar Vukmanovic Tempo, Josip Broz Tito's envoy to Macedonia. One of the contributors in the assembly was Kiro Gligorov, later the first president of the Republic of Macedonia. According to some researchers, the first session was heavily manipulated by the pro-Yugoslav representatives, and the absence of more than 50% of the elected delegates made it illegitimate. In early September, Nazi Germany briefly sought to establish an puppet state called Independent Macedonia. However, the state was de facto not established due to the lack of any military support. Despite this, it was declared by Macedonian right nationalists on the 8th of September. After Bulgaria have switched sides in the war on September 9, the Bulgarian 5th Army stationed in Macedonia, moved back to the old borders of Bulgaria. In the early October the newly formed Bulgarian People's Army together with the Red Army re-entered occupied Yugoslavia. Vardar Macedonia was liberated in November by Yugoslav partisan units of the Macedonian National Liberation Army, with the help of the Bulgarian Army. Second session The ASNOM became operational in December, shortly after the German retreat. The first step to eliminate Cento was the installation of Lazar Kolosevsky, the new leader of the Communist Party of Macedonia, as his first deputy in the ASNOM presidency during the second session of this assembly on 28–31 December. At the same session was taken a decision a tribunal to be created, that will judge the collaborators of the occupiers who have panned the Macedonian name and the Macedonian national honour. Third session 
On the third session held in April 1945, the body transformed itself into Republican Parliament. Chento was replaced at last by Kolashevsky, who started fully implementing the pro Yugoslav line. Controversy From the start of the new Yugoslavia, accusations surfaced that new authorities in Macedonia were involved in retribution against people who did not support the formation of the new Yugoslav Macedonian Republic. The numbers of dead, counter revolutionaries, and collaborators due to organized killings during the Bloody Christmas and afterwards, however, is unclear. Besides, many people went throughout the labor camp of Goli Otok in the middle 1940s. This chapter of the Macedonia's history was a taboo subject for conversation in the SFRY until the late 1980s, and as a result, decades of official silence created a reaction in the form of numerous data manipulations for nationalist, communist propaganda purposes. In the last years the number of the victims was put forward to 50,000, including those killed, imprisoned, deported, sent to forced labor, tortured, etc. At that time, the ASNOM's first leaders Chento and Brashnarov were purged from their positions, then isolated, arrested and imprisoned on fabricated charges, as foreign agents, having pro-Bulgarian leanings, demanding greater independence, collaborating with the common form, forming of conspirative political groups, demanding greater democracy and the like. Gallery See also AVNOJ Sobrani Military history of the Republic of Macedonia Independent State of Macedonia <laughs>